It's been a year since the Choice Act was passed to decrease wait times for veterans in need of medical care, but the VA is still struggling with deficiency at some facilities. I don't know of an issue more serious than this as to how we treat those who have been willing to go out and serve and sacrifice on behalf of their nation. The legislation came after Dr. Sam Foote at the Phoenix VA facility revealed long wait times had led to the deaths of hundreds of veterans. But the law still hasn't made a dramatic impact on those wait times. Government data from the past year reveals wait times at VA facilities have mostly remained static, with the worst waits found in the south or southwest region. To counteract its issues, thousands of employees were hired at the end of 2014 by the VA system, helping facilities increase the veterans they can see. The VA's rapid growth and regional inequalities in care are proving challenging for the department. The agency is still being criticized. Just last month, a whistleblower reported additional thousands of veterans lost benefits due to mishandling of applications at a VA in Atlanta. The agency's budget was the subject of a brief legislative scrap earlier this year, during which lawmakers almost refused to fund the agency over complaints about its management and budget. And Republicans are still pushing for veterans' health care to move out of the VA and into the private sector. Senator McCain recently introduced new legislation which would make every veteran eligible for private health care under the Choice Act. For Newsy, I'm Eugene Daniels.